Okay, perfect. Um, so basically what we're going to do is we're going to go through the new coach welcome booklet that I made. Some of you guys may have seen it already. You may have already printed it off. If not, don't worry about it. Um, I'm going to share it in the downline page as well as success clubbers. Um, so that will be available in there. So first off, welcome. You are a brand new coach. This is freaking exciting. Like you have just launched a business, right? You are on this call because you want it to grow. You want it to be successful. And we're here to show you how. And surprisingly, it is not complex. It is just honestly a matter of you committing and getting excited about it and sharing about it. And truthfully, that is the bare bones of it. So um, this call is designed to get you motivated to start running your business, but also to give you the tools that you need to get started. So Basically, I'm just going to pull up my um, PDF file that I have here. Um, show of hands, has anyone seen the PDF file that I created yet? Okay, well, that's kind of fun. I'm okay with that. That's good. Okay, so it's not going to be redundant. Okay, perfect. Um, so first things first, um, you'll probably notice that when you signed up that your coach added you to several different beach body groups. It's not to overwhelm you or to like inundate you with information. It's just to make sure that you have access to the best of the best, um, access to different tips and tricks, resources and tools. Um, I know for myself personally, I add you to my downline. So your coach, if they have a downline page, they would have added you to that too. So um, another one that I always add my coaches to, it's called Success Clubbers. And that one is like a whole big family of all of us girlfriend coaches. All together, we just put all of our coaches in there and we share all of our biggest ideas, what's working, so you would have been added into that as well. Um, and then you would also have been added into a challenge group at some point, right? You're gonna be in your coach's group. Um, and then eventually, once you start feeling comfortable, you can start your own challenge group. Some people are like right out of the gates, like I wanna run a challenge group now. Like I am ready. I have like a couple girls that are going to do this with me. I don't care if I have three people in my group. I don't care if I only have three. I'm running with it. Other people are like, you know what? I'm going to just add my customers into your challenge group for now. Totally fine. That is okay. So whatever route you want to go, what you're comfortable with, just know that eventually you're going to want to have your own challenge group, right? Because that gives you that like credibility and that, you know, ability to level up, but don't feel pressure to do it right away if you're not comfortable. Okay, so the next thing here, um, I just made a note to say that these groups that we add you to are a safe space to ask questions and connect with fellow coaches and learn. So don't be nervous to ask questions in there or to connect with people. It's designed for you to have a community and to feel safe there, okay? So um, connect all you like, ask questions. If you find like a really good training video on YouTube, by all means, post it in those groups. That's where we wanna, we wanna, you know, see it and share it because sharing is caring in this, in this team and in this family. So I know for sure that like, if we ever have, you know, things that work for us, we share it. It's not the type of like business where we like keep it all to ourselves and we're going to, you know, rock our business, but not bring people with, we want you to succeed with us. Okay. Alrighty. So next up on the list is you're going to get an email, you know, once you sign up to be a coach, it's going to have some like basic information. Okay. Start here. Essentially, you're going to create your login and your profile. You might upload a picture. You'll design, you know, what your login is going to be, what your password is going to be. What I recommend that you do is just log into your coach online office. This is an unreal resource, you guys. And I think it is one of the most underutilized resources that we have. If you just even browse through it. I want you to just click on the tabs, search, see what you can find in there, get lost in the coach online office. You don't need to know everything in there by any stretch. You don't need to study all the stuff in there, but you have access to tons of resources in there. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Here, when you first log into your coach online office, you're going to find your coach ID. And that is an ID number that is unique to you. So you'll be able to see your customer orders in this area too. You're going to be able to see your success club points. We'll talk about that a little further on. Um, and you'll be able to see like your team of coaches one day when you have a team of your own. Um, you're going to see product toolkits. So if you want to learn more about Body Beast, 
They have an entire page in there dedicated to teaching you what Body Beast is all about. Maybe you have a customer asking you about 22 minute hardcore and you're like, I have no clue what 22 minute hardcore is. There's a page in there that will tell you all about 22 minute hardcore. Same thing with the three day refresh, all of the products. There are product toolkits for everything. So don't feel like if someone asks you a question that you're like, oh my God, I don't know. It's in there. It is in there. And if you can't Google it or YouTube it, Coach Online Office will have it for you. Okay. Um, the next thing here that I said, like before, just take a tour, click around, get familiar with the setup and the layout. Um, you'll find how to also contact Coach Relations if you ever need to chat anything about coaching or to help a customer out. They have a great live chat and FAQ option here as well if you don't want to call in. But just know that a lot of the questions that you might have, you will find answers to in the Coach Online office. So utilize it. Okay, next up. This is the biggest part as a new coach, right? Sharing the exciting news that you launched a business. And you're probably like, how on God's green earth am I supposed to do that? Like, I don't know what I'm going to do. How am I going to just all of a sudden go from like never posting on social media or just posting my cat or posting my vacations to all of a sudden be like, I'm a beach body coach now. How do I do that in a way that's not going to be completely nerdy and dorky and come across as salesy? And we have a few tips for you. So you're officially the CEO of your own beach body coaching business. That is so stinking cool. You guys, like that is a really cool feeling. You should be proud about that. You probably fell in love with the products and the programs and the community that you're surrounded by. So it only makes sense that you decided to pay it forward and help others too. So your first assignment is to make a post sharing your big decision to become a coach. I personally use Facebook or pardon me, um, Instagram to run my business. Maybe you prefer Facebook. It, it's, a, it's up to you completely. Um, so your first assignment is to make an announcement sharing that. So what you're going to do is you're going to have a picture of you. Maybe it's a workout picture. Maybe you're going to be all dolled up. Maybe it's just an everyday picture with you and your kids, you and your dog, a picture of you smiley and bright and colorful and it's going to be a wonderful lovely picture of you and you're going to share your why why you made this decision why you fell in love with this company thanking your followers ahead of time for their kindness and their support on your new journey don't overthink it just do it dive in you're going to just share with them why you are here and you know why we all have different reasons why we signed up to coach honestly maybe you maybe for you it's you got results and that's the first time in a long time that something has worked for you and it's sustainable it's something you feel like you can keep up with and you feel like you would be doing a disservice to people by not sharing that so i think that would be a great thing to share with people or maybe you're simply like you know what i have a vision for my family i'm a single mom and I cannot keep working these two jobs. I need to be home with my family more. I am gonna do this because I wanna make a difference in the lives of others, but I also wanna make a difference in my family's life. I have like big financial goals, but I also love this company and I know, I know that I can do that here. So I want you to just keep it simple, share your why and a picture of you. And you know what? Even if you've like been coaching for a little bit and you're on this call, do it again. Share your why often. I share my why weekly, at least. I talk about, even today on my Instagram stories, in my workout videos, I just talked about why I started, where I was when I began in 2014. And people resonate with that. People can feel, you know, authenticity and they can feel that you're genuine when you share that portion of your story. And a lot of people are like, oh, I'm nervous. What will people think? They're going to be supportive and they're going to be proud of you and they're going to be happy for you. And you know what? If someone isn't, maybe that is a blessing in disguise. Maybe that is the universe or God's way of showing you, highlighting to you who isn't in your corner. I've always taken any criticism that I received when I first started, which I got a lot, you guys, because Beachbody was new. And I honestly, I was a smoker, like a casual smoker. I drank a lot with my friends. I loved a and teen burgers and I loved late night, like bar food. And I was not a healthy person. So can you imagine when the people I went to high school with in a small town saw that I was becoming a health and wellness coach? Can you imagine the things that they said to, about me at wing night at the local pub? 
it wasn't nice things, you guys. It wasn't nice things. But I knew that what I was doing was making me healthier. It was improving the financial well-being of my family and my future family. And that didn't matter. The opinions of people that didn't support me mattered so little. And I was thankful that the universe or God was highlighting to me these people that weren't supportive. So if you have people like that in your life, which you'd be surprised, there's going to be more people that support you than not. Okay. We always just choose to focus on that 1% rather than the 99% that are supportive and loving and kind. We always just end up focusing on like, Oh, that one like guy from high school is teasing me and he's just like beaking me behind my back. And he thinks I'm such a loser because I'm doing this. Who cares? Like, thank you for showing me that I need to like block and delete this fella and move on with my life. Okay. So that is your first big assignment. Now, the next thing that I want to talk about is specifically about Instagram because I don't know, can I get a show of hands here? Um, who here is going to be running their business exclusively on Instagram? Okay, so I'm assuming if your hand isn't up, you're probably more Facebook. Is that right? Or if you don't know, if that's okay, if you don't know either, that's fine. <laughs> that's totally fine. So I choose Instagram because it's a really, really organic way to meet and discuss with strangers. Facebook isn't really conducive to meeting strangers, if that makes sense. Growing your cold market is harder to do on Facebook because most people are like, this is my Facebook. Like, you can't add me. I don't know who you are. Like, please, like, no, thank you. I don't know you. Whereas on Instagram, it's like, oh my God, babe, like, you're so cute. Like, I love your outfit. Where'd you get it from? It's a much more inclusive environment for people that you don't know or you're getting to know. So I choose it because it's simple. People are using it a lot more than they're using Facebook to do this sort of thing. So I love Instagram. So this next one is more so focused on Instagram. So your social media profile is your new, new storefront. You need to make sure that it looks like it's open for business. You would walk right past a shoe store where the lights were off, the shelves were empty, the sign was all dingy, you couldn't read it. You would walk right past that shoe store. Same thing goes with your Instagram profile. Does it look like it's open for business? Can you tell that it's a business, that you're actually someone worth following? Is it easy to tell that? So what you're gonna do, first things first, update your profile picture to just you. Not a picture of you know a bunch of people in a group or a picture of your cat or a picture of something you can't really tell what it is. A bright and smiley picture of your face, your beautiful, gorgeous, smiley face. My biggest tip, stand in front of a natural light source. So everyone's always like, oh, do you have a ring light or how do you take your pictures? I stand in front of a window and take them. And my neighbors, I'm sure think I'm insane, but I stand in front of my window because I get the best light in those areas. So stand in front of a natural light source. Maybe when you have your hair all done up, maybe that, <laughs> maybe one day you're like, okay, I finally need to do this. I'm going to, it's a good excuse to curl my hair and toss on some lipstick. Here we go. Or maybe it's going to be you in some workout clothes, flexing, whichever, whatever is you take a picture, um, change your account to a business account. The reason that we tell you to do that is because it gives you more options um, for call to action. So, um, eventually like the swipe up feature or certain things um, that only a business um, account can use. So when I share this um, new coach booklet with you, I've included a link in it that will send you to a tutorial on how to do that specifically, but it's actually pretty easy. But I just linked that in there. I want you to update your bio to reflect who you are and what you represent. Um, again, I linked um, a little tutorial on how to make it look pretty, how to have it all left aligned or center aligned if you wanted to make it look really professional, adding in emojis. Because truthfully, like it, it needs to look visibly appealing. It needs to be something that catches the eye of someone scrolling through. If you don't have anything in your bio or something that's all like jumbled and mashed up, you need to include in there what you're doing. Mine says founder of Team Full Heart. And you know what? I started saying that I was the founder of Team Full Heart 
when I think it was me and maybe two other coaches, like I'm a founder of this team. Yeah, I am a founder of this team and there's two of us on it. So, and you know what? It's grown to hundreds and hundreds of people. So don't feel like just cause you're starting out that you don't have clout or that you don't have the ability to like rock this business. We all start somewhere. And I started my Instagram account at zero people. I started a brand new account like two years into coaching to start this. So just know we all start somewhere. So I say founder of Team Full Heart, online wellness coach with the American flag, Canadian flag, and the UK flag. Um, I have in there that I'm a certified to be mindset mentor. I took the official training for to be mindset. And then in the next line, it says I'm a wifey and mama to be. And then the next line just says become hashtag full heart strong with fingers pointing down to a link. Now, this is the next thing I want you guys to write down. I want you to sign up for a free link tree account. So this is a great way for your followers to connect with you. So I want you to go to my Instagram account later and click on that link tree account and see what's all in there. The reason I use link tree is because you can only use one link in Instagram, right? You only get the one. So you might as well have the ability to branch off. So what Linktree does is you click on it and then it gives you multiple options of things to click on. I have in there my WooFu, which is a free form. Also something you should do. Check out WooFu. It's a free form builder. Check out mine if you want. Copy and paste it. I don't care. Just make it your own. You're going to add in there maybe your coach sign up. Maybe you'll make a challenger sign up. Maybe you're going to share in there. Um, a video of you talking about what is coaching that you uploaded to YouTube one day. Uh, maybe the free lift four workout or transform 20 workout that you can link in there as a really, really good freebie for your followers. Lots of different things that you can put in there, but Linktree just allows you to share more. So that is something I really, really want you guys to do. It is easy. It is free and it is an awesome business tool. The other thing is post daily. A shoe store doesn't just show up on the days that the owner feels like opening up shop, right? You show up whatever his hours are. Maybe it's Monday to Saturday. He shows up every day. He works really hard. The lights are on. The music is pumping. He's excited about his shoes. He's selling those shoes. Maybe he's got a sidewalk sale going on. He's got donuts for everyone. We might not have donuts, but maybe you do. I don't know. But you are going to show up and be energetic on your Instagram because that's your storefront. Don't get me wrong. I still, I have a few days left in the clinic. And when I started, I was working full time at a really busy dental clinic. So I didn't have time to be on my phone all day, but you know what I did have time for? I had time to wake up early. I had time to stay up late. I had time to make it happen because this wasn't just a hobby for me. I had really big financial goals. So I made that sacrifice. You don't have to by any stretch, but your goals and your actions have to be aligned, if that makes sense, okay? So if you have a big financial goal or you wanna quit your job or retire your husband or whatever the case may be, those are good. I want you to have big, scary goals. But I also want you to realize that your behaviors need to match said goals, okay? That makes sense? Perfect. So I want you to show up daily, turn that open sign on and talk to your people. Like you need to talk to your people. Cause if you're just posting pictures and workouts and you're not talking to them, it's really hard to create a relationship with them. So make sure your business sign is on, on your Instagram. And that is something after this call, you can officially turn your open sign on, on your business. That is a decision that you get, you can make instantly. And it takes zero time. Okay. Like literally talking in 15 second incre increments, about what you're doing, about coaching. Maybe you're gonna talk about the program or Beachbody On Demand, or talk about what you're making for supper or your portion control containers. Lord knows there are a lot of things that you can talk about. People actually think you're interesting and they're gonna tune in. You might be like, I'm the most boring vanilla person in the world, like that's me. But people tune in every day because I show up. I show up every single day. And people are interested in reality shows, so they're kind of interested in what you're up to too. So if you show up every day, they will come, they will watch. Okay, I will pass the torch, I believe. I think I'm passing the torch now. Yes, I am. Okay, so something I'm talking about is called the business activity tracker. So in your coach online office, you will find this. Now, the 
business activity tracker bat, if you will, um, is so important to follow because as a brand new coach, there's going to be so many resources and you're really going to feel like you're being pulled in a million directions. But if you focus on the business activity tracker, it's going to condense everything and it's going to keep it simple because this business can be as simple or as complicated as you choose to make it. So if you just stick to the business activity tracker, you will be doing the behaviors that matter, the income, producing behaviors because it is so easy to get like lost on, you know, Instagram, social media, scrolling, doing a bunch of things that really at the end of the day, don't do anything for your business. You know, you can be on your phone and hours can go by and you literally haven't done a darn thing. And then you're like, Oh, this takes too much time. So you know what? Just keep things simple and do what works and just follow the business activity tracker. It's so neat because there's boxes. So check it off once you do it. Um, I'm the kind of person that I like lists and I like to check things off. So if you are like me, um, that's something that you're going to really appreciate, or maybe you're scatterbrained and need to just focus. So just really check out that business activity tracker. Um, it touches on the vital behaviors that are proven to work. And, um, there's also some goals that you can put on there. There's like success club, like what you're at, you know, the, the week that you're on, have you watched the national wake up call, all that good stuff. So keep it simple. This doesn't have to be complicated. It doesn't have to be overwhelming. So just focus on what matters. We call those the, um, income producing behaviors. Cause you're going to want to do things that matter, right? At the end of the day, um, it doesn't matter all the fancy schmancy stuff. Keeping it simple will grow your business. So, um, next I'm going to talk about the coach online office. So Kirsten touched a bit on it, but the coach online office literally has everything. Um, as the CEO of your own business, you are going to want to be someone who goes and seeks out answers instead of just asking questions and relying on someone else to answer them for you. You're going to want to take ownership of your business, so to speak, and you're going to go, you're going to want to go and seek those answers out. So the coach online office literally has everything. It has everything from, um, your volume, which we'll get into. I'll get into that later. I'm talking about a different topic. Um, it has all the orders that are going through. It has your orders. It has trainings. It has information on the different fitness programs like Kirsten talked about. Literally, it is like a gold mine of everything. And you just need to honestly get in there, click on things. You need to explore. When I first became a coach, I went into the coach online office and everything said zero, right? Like my earnings were zero. I had zero coaches under me. My volume was zero. Literally everything was zero. And that's normal. We all start at zero, right? And once you start to have customers and orders go through and things, you'll start to see numbers grow and it'll kind of make sense. But just know that the coach online office, it even has templates for challenge groups. It has generic ones for regardless of what program or it has specific program challenge groups. It's literally a gold mine. You can grow your business literally off the coach online office without even let's say if you never had a, an upline coach or whatever, or any formal training, like we have so much training for our team, but let's say if you didn't have any of those resources or tools, the coach online office has everything. So be someone who takes ownership of your business and you go and seek out those answers instead of just relying on your coach or other coaches to answer them for you. You're going to want to be the CEO. So you're going to seek out those answers and it's all in the coach I'm off, online office. You're going to just want to get in there, get messy, click around and see what's all there. Um, and, um, now moving forward, um, there's certain apps that we have found that are super, super helpful. First and foremost, the BB links app, raise your hand. If you have it back in the day, when I signed up to coach, we had to literally make our own links. Like it was crazy. We had this generic, um, like website kind of link then we had to put the product number in like it was so crazy it was complicated so now with bb links you get this app and when you first log in it asks for your coach id and basically it will help you generate order links for your clients so someone might message you and they say hey can i do the three-day refresh you're like heck yeah so you go you select the country you know because there's three different options and then you go you copy and paste boom and your coach id at the end there that's how beachbody knows to compensate you for that order 
So BB Links, that's like gold. Um, After Light, it's a photo editing app. It's free. So you can, you know, play around with all different types of like saturations and different lighting and colors and all that. Um, another one that people use is Adobe Lightroom. So it's a bit more advanced. Um, so it can be as simple or as complicated as you want it to be. So it really just depends on your style. Um, Moldiv, that is for photo collages. So you'll often see myself or other coaches where we might have you know a picture and they're like back to back or mirrored or whatever um, or you know a bunch of different pictures whatever get creative if you choose to um, word swag is awesome it adds text to images so um, that's really important too if you're gonna maybe make like a new coach announcement when you start adding coaches to your team or whatever that looks like um, and Another one that I've just discovered and it is gold is story art and that you get templates for Instagram stories. So that's really awesome for um, new coaches that you add to your team are going to want to make a really pretty um, advertisement sharing that they joined and really there's limitless amount of apps, but I like to keep it simple. Kirsten talked about this a bit, but I just want to touch on it again, that when you are editing your photos, it's really important, I believe, especially with Instagram, to have your photos visually appealing, good lighting, all that. You don't want like a blurry, like photo, like clean your thing off, you know, it's not that hard, but you're going to want to make sure that like all of your content matches because you're not going to want like, you know, um, um, a a picture with like super saturated then the next one is like so light that you can barely see anything so that's why using consistent filters or presets is super important because that's what Instagram is all about what's visually appealing that's what catches people's eyes and then they read what you have to say under it but when if you go and you look at top coaches or accounts that have a ton of followers you're gonna see that there's a theme um, Oh, the filters, the presets, it all matches. It's, it, it's visually appealing. So make sure that regardless of whatever kind of theme you go with for your lighting or your filters, that it all matches and that it's visually appealing. Um, now, um, success club. I love this topic. There's so much to talk about success club. Do you guys know what success club is? Okay. So that's fine, but you're going to hear this a lot. You're going to hear the term success club all the time because honestly, our business is built around this concept. Every time you help someone sign up for a challenge with a challenge pack, maybe that's Beachbody on demand for a year, like the annual with um, Shakeology, or maybe it's the ultimate portion fix with uh, Beachbody on demand and um, the performance line, whatever that looks like, you're going to get points. And usually it's two points for a challenge pack. Now, when you sign into your online office, you have someone sign up the challenge pack, maybe the next day or the day after you sign in, it says success club two. Awesome, you helped one person. Now, when you get five points, that means that you've hit success club. So when you become an Emerald coach, which we're gonna talk about later, that means that if you hit success club, five, that you get free leads from Beachbody. So that is people that go to Beachbody and they sign up for an account. And one day when those people place orders, you are going to get commission from these leads. So we call them leads. Success club 10 means that you've helped, well, five people. So you have 10 success club points. That means if you're Emerald and the following month, that means that you get free paying customers. So, you know, Susie from across the country or whatever, um, bought a couple boxes of beach bars or a bag of Shakeology, or maybe they bought the three day refresh, whatever that looks like. But when you sign in and you see, Hey, you have a new order. You're like, Oh, Hey, I don't know this person, but sweet free customer and free commission. That is awesome. That is like the gift that keeps on giving. And that's why there's such a push to get Success Club 10 because why wouldn't you, right? But in order to get those leads, uh, whether it be Success Club 5 or 10, you need to be Emerald to be able to get those. Now, Success Club, I believe, is the number one way we measure if our businesses are growing. People that hit Success Club are bringing new clients into their business and they're changing lives. They're bringing new blood into their challenge groups, new energy, and they're making a difference and making an impact. Now, I don't know about you guys, but when I help someone sign up for my home fitness challenge and they're seeing results and they're excited and they're adopting this new way of life and they're creating this new routine and lifestyle, that is so gratifying. So every time I help someone with a challenge pack, that is so exciting because it's 
boom, one more life that I have the blessing to help change and to touch this person's life. So success club measures if you're helping people or not. And we are in the business of helping people. So if you're consistently getting success club points five or more, you know that you are, um, you're growing your business. And we know that successful challengers who see really great results and fall in love with the programs and the products and the community and the fellowship are really likely to become coaches because they fall in love with this whole lifestyle and this whole community. So if you are hitting success club, we know that you're bringing new clients, but chances are a lot of those clients are deciding to become coaches. Maybe it's for the business opportunity. Maybe it's for the discount that we get as coaches, whatever, but there's definitely implications. So, um, there's some more specifics about Success Club in the PDF that Kirsten created. So I really encourage you, obviously, after this call or at some point, go through every slide because it really touches individually um, on all of these different topics and it really goes in depth. But for now, I'm gonna turn it over and I'm gonna talk in a bit again. Hi guys, it's AMQ. So I'm gonna give you a little disclaimer. My dog Luna has been barking a lot. So if you guys hear like a yip, I'm really sorry. It's super loud. Real life behind the scenes. But I am going to be talking to you guys about sharing your journey and then obviously inviting others to begin theirs. Um, first things first, we are not saleswomen or salesmen or salespeople. That is not what our job is as coaches. We're not going door to door selling, you know, knives to people or socks like I had a job in high school where I literally was going door to door to door to door to door selling knife blocks to people I don't know how I did it that's what I did small town problems we're not doing stuff like that we don't send salesy annoying messages I promise you that every single one of you has been on the receiving end of one of those and you know you just feel icky you know you don't want to be the person who delivers that icky message we want to be talking about the programs we use and how that makes us feel. We want to be talking about the products we love. We want to talk about the results that we're achieving. At the end of the day, we are walking, talking billboards for the products and the programs. We are proof that this stuff works and there should be that passion behind everything that you do, everything that you say, how you present yourself when you show up on that storefront that person was talking about, whether you choose that to be, you know, Instagram or Facebook or who knows what other social media platform happens to exist a year from now or five years from now, at the end of the day, you want to be showing up and sharing your journey as authentically, as authentically, authentically as possible. So by sharing your journey, um, you will see very quickly that once you start sharing your journey and being real about your struggles, your successes, that's when you're going to start having people be attracted to you, right? If you're showing up and you're posting your workout videos and you're talking about how these workouts are making you feel or why you love your shake, this is stuff that people can really relate to. You know, if you have your, your energy levels have gone through the roof and that's not something that happened before you joined this boot camp challenge group two weeks ago, that's incredible, right? That's the stuff that people will look at it and say, oh, dang, like she looks and feels really great. I'd love to look and feel great too. And that's when you get the people starting to ask questions, showing that interest. There is always, and I want to stress this because I feel like so many of us don't believe this at our core, but there's always going to be someone, there's always, always going to be someone who looks like you, who relates to you, who's going through what you're going through or is going through what you went through and they're literally waiting for you to share your journey so that they can jump along board and not just be a cheerleader and watch from the sidelines, but also do it too, right? So you're doing people a disservice by not sharing your journey when you're investing in this business, whether you know it's not a huge investment financially, we all know that, but it is an investment of you, know, you simply saying, I'm doing this, you're investing in yourself, but it would be doing your audience a disservice not to share your story in a way that will one gajillion percent inspire them. So not only will people be seeing your journey and scrolling through your stories, 
this is when you take the opportunity. And if you see someone has been following you and literally watching every single one of your stories for months on end, be a good friend and invite them, right? If you're feeling so great, why not share that opportunity and let them know that they can do it too. Something that I learned not as early on as I would have liked to is that so many people will watch you, but they're scared. You know, they're scared to ask you about what you're doing. They don't even really know that they can do it too, right? Until you sort of offer that as an opportunity to them. So there's a lot of value in reaching out to them and letting them know because you might just change their life. And just like Hill said, that is a super rewarding feeling, knowing that you're changing that person's life. Um, the next thing I'll talk about is just ways to invite. So another thing that I think we all overcomplicate and struggle with is seriously, just keep it simple. I am a wordy girl. We know, anyone who knows me, I talk a lot. That's just my thing. I'm doing it right now. And I struggled a lot at first to make my invites not nine paragraphs long, you know? No one is going to read that. That looks terrible. A lengthy, wordy invite usually does feel salesy. No matter how cute it is, no matter how many unicorns or little sparkle emojis you put, straight up just looks salesy. It looks like you're ambushing them. So you want to try something like, hey, Carla, I can't thank you enough for tuning into my Instagram stories lately. I super appreciate your support. I always say something like, it's nice to know that someone out there, you know, finds me interesting enough to follow along with. Let me know if you've ever considered joining one of my challenge groups. You are obviously more than welcome. Then you sort of put the ball in their court, but you're, you're planting that seed, you know? And don't feel bad if someone doesn't answer you right away. Don't feel bad if they don't even read it because a no is only a no for that moment, right? They're going to be in their inbox. They're going to see you showing up every day. They're just, they're just going to see it. And those people might come around, you know, a day, a month, a year later, and you're going to be happy you sent that initial invite. The other thing that obviously inviting is, is part of the inviting tool, which is sort of a little bit more of, I guess, an indirect way, is just building relationships with the new followers that you acquire, right? It's something as simple as saying, hey, hon, thanks so much for the follow. If you've ever got any suggestions for content that you'd like to see, let me know. You'd be surprised how many people will message you back and say, actually, yeah, you know, like, I would love to know what you use to, I don't know, cut your dog's hair, right? Like they're, they're following you for a reason and they have that interest in you. So maybe they do really want you to share more or maybe they want to know, why is that pre-workout you always post selfies with yellow? Why does it look like a highlighter, you know? And people will respond back and they'll ask you those questions. And not only is that a great way to build the relationship with that particular person, you got to be thinking content all the time. If that person's asking that question, then maybe some of your other followers are thinking the same thing. So you're really just creating more content for yourself by having those conversations. Um, I personally love voice notes. I also really love the videos. Um, obviously on Instagram, it limits you, but I love just showing up. I love when they can hear my voice. I love when they can see my face. This makes it so much more real for people, especially because we run our businesses, not solely, but mostly on an online platform. So if you can show up and seem as real as possible, it really does come across and people can hear the excitement in your voice. They can, they can experience those quirks about you and they can see that you're just a real person and you're not a robot. And that's huge because nobody, nobody feels connected to a robot, right? We're just, we're all regular people. Um, making it your mission to invite people daily. That is so huge. That is one of the reasons why that uh, business activity tracker is so key for someone like me. If you're anything like me, I said it in the comments when Chris was talking about it, but uh, I'm like a little, little task rabbit. Like I need, I literally need a little box to check off for every task I have. And then after I do it, I feel so accomplished. That's me. And I just love the business activity tracker because it gives me that structure. Maybe you're not that way, but I, I really urge you to use it as just a baseline. Because if you ever feel like you're not doing your job as a coach, 
literally all you have to do is go and check it and cross-reference and you can just give yourself a gut check and be like, okay, like I'm doing the right thing. Yikes, I'm struggling. I'm sort of lacking in this department. Um, if someone doesn't invite you to something, right, then you don't know that you're welcome to it, just like I said. And if Kirsten didn't invite me a gajillion times to a challenge group, and I ghosted her lots, <laughs> and I left, left her on read receipt lots, but if she hadn't done it, I honestly don't know where I would be today, you know? I most definitely wouldn't be sitting here in my romper running a business training call, that's for sure. Who knows what I would be doing, but it wouldn't be this. So we'll say it a lot and you'll hear us say it forever and ever and ever. Don't hold back because we each and every one of us have the power to change lives. And that's a big deal. That holds a lot of weight. Um, ways to share your journey. So showing up often is key. Showing up, you will hear it. You will hear it over and over and over. Showing up. That's easy. Guys, it's literally just what you do. You know, you work out every day, show it. You eat food every day, show it. You get up and do things like walk your dog or, you know, hang out with your friends and have Taco Tuesday, show it. It's not hard to show your journey. It proves to your audience that you're not only just, you know, like, you know, a beach body coach, that you're a person, but that you are also a serious business owner that also has a life. I think that is so relatable if you're showing up and showing your products, but also showing, you know, your life and how the products fit into your life, that makes things a little bit more real, right? If it's just like product, 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 or life, 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 you need to find that balance and you will, right? We're all learning, all of us, even the three of us, you know, we learn every day. We, we jump on trainings just like this one and we learn from each other every day. And so don't feel like this is super daunting, you know, don't feel that way. Just show up, just share your journey in the best way that you know how, and you'll, you know, obviously evolve from there. Some of the best ways to showcase your journey, we talked about this already, but your Instagram stories. So moves from your workouts that day, um, perhaps you show behind the scenes, right? Uh, I think a lot of times we post our workout clips and then we don't realize that people don't understand, like, what's that, who's that voice, you know, like <laughs> that trainer that's telling them, what to do and what moves to do, where is that coming from? So showing behind the scenes, Hillary does this like every day, it's awesome. They can really see that you're stepping into a virtual gym and you, you talk about how it's like the Netflix for fitness and people are like, ooh, that sounds cool. Everyone knows what Netflix is. So creating that attraction marketing, that curiosity marketing behind everything. You can also do things like, you know, telling your opinion on the newest nutrition program talking about why that nutrition program is working for you. But no matter what, you need to get in front of the camera so your followers can see your face and hear your voice. I am going to say this because I'm all about being transparent. I have been coaching for over three years. And guys, I didn't get in front of the camera until about a year ago. And that is when my business started booming. That is a direct correlation. That is not a coincidence. When I decided that I was going to own it and show my audience who I was and what my journey was, that is when things started happening. So take my advice, don't do what AMQ did. Do not hold back. It doesn't matter if your makeup is not perfect. It doesn't matter if your hair is super frizzy. That's the way that people are going to, they're just gonna care that that's who you really are behind the scenes. And just like what Kirsten said when we started the call, right? We're not gonna be glamorous all the time. That's the point, you know? It's, there's something nice about knowing that your coach is just a real human being just like you who's trying to juggle all the things that life has. Um, sorry, that was a ramble, but that's okay. So sharing your results, whether you have a physical transformation or I know that some people are like, well, what if I just started my journey, right? What if I, I've only dropped like two pounds and you can't really see that on my photos? That's okay, guys, you know? Being a coach, it all starts with the personal development part. It starts with diving deep within yourself and making that change. Maybe you talk about how, you know, three years ago, you're not the kind of girl who would have been working out at home on a Tuesday evening, you know? Think, talk about what you would have been doing instead on a Friday night, right? That is a transformation too. 
It doesn't necessarily need to be the number on the scale. It doesn't even really need to be a number on a scale at all if that's not what your goal is. If you're not trying to lose weight, right? It might be something completely different. Adopting a healthier lifestyle um, just has a ripple effect in all aspects of, of our lives. So talking about that, um, I often talk about how my relationships with my friends are much better. I talk about how I'm just a better coworker. And that's it's the truth. It's just the truth. And it's as a result of me taking care of myself every day and looking within and, of course, getting sweaty and eating the right foods. It all, it all compounds. It's the compound effect. Great book. Everyone should read it. P.S. Um, Instagram stories really has made this easy. When Kirsten and Hillary and I started coaching, it didn't even exist. Gasp. I'm sure some of you guys remember Instagram before Instagram stories. It's crazy that that was even a thing. I don't even know how I ran my business with Instagram stories, but Instagram stories really makes this easy. It's a super quick and relatively seamless way to just get the points that you're trying to make, whatever that point is, across. Um, and the last thing I'll say is something that, you know, it might be easier said than done, but once you get into the habit of doing it, it is so amazingly freeing. Planning your Instagram posts, whether it's the night before or the day before, that way you're not scrambling. Um, I find that I was, you know, sometimes struggling with like days where I'm like, I'm just not inspired this day, or I know I need to post, but I, I, I just don't know what to post. You know, follow your favorite coaches, take a nugget from your, the book that you're reading and post, post, you know, a quote from there. And then I guess expand on it really and talk about how it applies to what you're doing right now in your life, what you're doing right now in your business. Don't feel like, you know, every single post needs to be about each body either. Like I said, share your life because that's the stuff that makes you relatable. So that is, uh, I think that's it for me. Pretty sure. <laughs> um, and I will pass it back to Hill, I think. I think it's Hill again. Okay, so this is cool. We're talking about the first big goal in your business, and that is going Emerald. Now, Emerald means that you have two active coaches under you, one on each leg. So if you have the goal of growing a team and growing your income, then becoming an Emerald coach is a top priority. That's the way that you are going to do that. And we've already talked about how, and that's through Success Club. Becoming a coach is free when you get a challenge pack. So when I'm signing up someone who knows that they want to coach and they're brand new, they can sign up as a coach for free while simultaneously getting their challenge pack. That link is in BB links. Anyways, so an Emerald coach, simple. You have two coaches under you, two coaches on your team. Boom. You're a leader. You are a leader. Like Kirsten said, she was a founder of two people. <laughs> so to reach Emerald rank, a coach, a coach must maintain at least 50 personal volume. So during the qualification period. So what that means is um, when you get Shakeology or whatever products you're ordering, there's a volume amount attached to it. So as long as you're getting 50 personal volume, cool, you're an active coach. And you're going to need your coaches under you to keep their rank of active as well. Um, so if you are getting Shakeology or the pre and post workout, then that's taken care of. No worries. Um, so Emerald coaches are eligible for new or for team cycle bonuses. So what that means is you're not just getting commission. Every single coach, as soon as you sign up, you get 25% commission on anything you sell. Awesome. But I want to tell you that four years in, just such a small percentage, a small fraction of my income is actually from commission. Um, so what are team cycle bonuses? Um, what that means is, is that all of the coaches that are under you that are working the business, they're generating volume from helping people. And then you get cycles from it. Don't want to touch on it too much. I don't want to confuse anyone, but there's many, many uh, videos on what this looks like. But essentially, you have two legs. Each leg, you can think of it as a bank. And when you have 200 volume on one leg, 100 on the other, that's 300. You cycle one time. As an emerald coach, you get $14. A ruby coach is $16. And a diamond is $18. So there's strategies to maximize your income. And I'm going to get right into that. So, um, when you sign up your first two coaches, you're Emerald. Now, here's the cool thing. I signed up my dad a couple years in. I wish I would have signed him up right away. Like, I'm single, so let's just get that out of the way. But if you have a hubby or a boyfriend, 
mom, sibling, whatever. If you are serious about growing this business and you're using products anyways, why not maximize your income? So I know that Kirsten signed up her mom and her now hubby right away. Boom. She was Emerald. Cool. For me, I did things differently because I didn't really understand exactly how that worked. But in hindsight, I would have done things differently. I would have signed up my mom and dad right away. Um, I had two girlfriends that signed up and they just wanted the discount and they're not around anymore, but I've just built my business that it doesn't even matter. I signed up my dad, like I said, a couple years in and I wish I would have signed him up right away, but I didn't fully understand how this worked. But if I knew then what I know now, I would have signed them up right away because then once you start to grow your business, you can be making an income from that second account. I digress. So, um, if you have a customer that wants to get a discount, they fell in love with Shakeology or they fell in love with the pre and post workout or whatever that looks like, then you're going to want to help them get a deal because if they are going to benefit from that discount and you benefit from them being a coach, awesome. And you never know, they could turn into a business builder too. So never discount anyone um, thinking that they wouldn't want that opportunity. So offer that opportunity to people who love Shakeology and the products anyways. Um, maybe they've seen really great results and they want to be a coach. So it's not just for the discount. We know that. So if you have financial goals and a significant other, I do highly recommend you sign them up. So down the road, this becomes very lucrative and a very smart business, business decision. So for example, um, under my account, I get Shakeology under my dad's account. My mom gets Shakeology through my mom's account. I get my pre and post workout. Like it's kind of convoluted. So I would have planned things differently if I knew, um, then what I know now. But my friend Kyle also signed up. And even though he's not involved in Beachbody, I get Beach Bars through his account. And just the way I've set it all up, when I order extra things through my friend Kyle's account or through my mom's account, my dad cycles, and so do I. So it's like awesome. So if you really want to maximize your income, it might not make sense in the beginning, but if you have all these um, coaches and there's all of this information on the benefits of it, just trust. I wish I would have done it sooner knowing then what I know now, because then um, I, if I sign my dad up sooner, there'd be a lot more volume and cycles going through his account, but I'm building that. So just know that you can start building yours and also build a second account simultaneously. Hey, awesome. So I want to wrap up really quick here, guys, because we are going close to an hour here. So the next thing I want to talk to you guys about, it's kind of like my team's like mantra, our vision, our, you know, goal statement, but I want to read it to you and I want to see if you commit. And then at the end, I'll see who puts their hand up if they do. So I said, repeat after me, but you can't repeat after me. So anyways, I said, I commit 100% to my business. Wait, left, right hand over my left heart. Yeah. I commit 100% to my business, to my journey. I know this will take time, hard work, resilience, and patience. I am busy, but I have a vision for how I want my life to be. I will make the time. I promise to show up daily, to share my story, and invite others to begin their journey. I am stronger than my excuses. I am stronger than my fears. I am not scared to dream big. I will be resourceful. I will be solution oriented. I am capable of achieving anything I put my mind to. This business will work if I work too. I will succeed. Who agrees? All right, all right. Okay, I love it, I love it, I love it. So. A little exercise. We are going to, we are going to connect. We, you see how there's a chat section there? Okay. So I want to hear from you guys. Now you're going to have to get used to engaging and getting like in on discussions and topics. Y'all just can't be in the background looking pretty. You got to get involved. You got to get dirt. Got to get your elbows dirty. Okay. So here we go. I want to know what's a financial goal that you have no matter how big, no matter how small, what is the financial goal that you have with Beachbody? I know we all are going to type it in the comment section.
Like these are so exciting reading these like renovations for my home, pay off student loans, student loans become debt free. These are the, these are amazing. And these are doable. You guys, this is so doable. I've been doing this for five years. I committed to this journey for five years. I actually told myself I would get my beach body degree, which a degree usually takes about four years to get a bachelor degree. So I said, I'm going to get my beach body degree. And if I ain't seeing the money coming in from hustling my butt, then I could quit. I gave myself that option, but I, until I hit that four years of truthfully and honestly working my business, I couldn't quit. I had to give it four years. And at that four year mark, I had a conversation with my coach Morgan last year saying like, what's year 10 going to look like? What, like how much money are we going to be bringing in like year 12? Like I ain't going nowhere. You guys, like when you find something that works, when you find the ability to grow, it's incredible. So I am loving all of these. Like, this is phenomenal. Yeah. I, I might want to be my family sugar mama too. Like that's Alex's nickname for me is sugar mama. Cause I'm always like, let's redo the backyard. He's like, okay, sugar mama, like go ahead, pay for it or the breadwinner. And you know what? I'm going to tell you right now on this team, in this family, we are not ashamed to talk about money. We are men and women who are completely and entirely comfortable talking about finances because I think for so long we have been conditioned to think that it is taboo, that it is unsexy, that it is impolite to talk about money. You need to talk about money. If you have a goal, if you have a vision, if there's a way that you can get out and have a better life and that means you need to make more money, let's have a discussion about that. So I am not afraid to talk about that. Um, and the other thing I want to hear from you guys in the chat section is, I'm just going to bring it up here. I'm just about to lose it. Okay. Emotional or personal goal. How do you want to feel? Where do you want your mindset to be as you embark on this coaching journey? What do you want this to allow you to do emotionally? Personally, maybe it is to just finally see your worth, to prove to people that you are capable of sticking to something, whatever it is, share in the comment section, what your emotional goal is. Okay. So I basically said like, I want to prove to the women in my life who I know are personally struggling with going back to work after mat leave, really struggling with leaving their baby at home, knowing that, you know, they can't do it all. They can't be in two places at once. And I want to prove to them like this opportunity gives you that op that option. Like I never in a million years would be able to afford staying home full time with my kids on a single income. It's not 1995 anymore. Our parents' generation and our parents' parents, it's a lot easier to be home on a single income. It is not easy to do that anymore. The cost of living is so high and we all have much different lifestyles than our parents and our grandparents did. So we need to figure our shit out and make it work. So for me, it's proving to women that you can have your cake and eat it too, that you can raise babies, and build a business that that's not, they're not, you know, separate things. You can do both. Yeah. Gaining back confidence and reclaiming your power over your mental health. Absolutely. Practicing what you preach, proving that you're worth it. You're capable of anything. Yeah. If you stick with something and not give up with it when it gets hard, because y'all it going to get hard some days, it's going to be hard. Some days there are going to be days where someone says no to you. 30 times. There might be days where all you get is no's, but welcome to owning a business. Do you think the moment someone comes in a shoe store, shoe salesman's all jacked up. He just got some new stock in and it is gorgeous. These Steve Madden mules, they're just beautiful. This girl walks in, tries them on. Oh, they look good on her. They fit her perfect. She loves them. And she says, no, I don't think they're for me and walks out. Does he close up his shop? No, he's got goals. He's got a family to feed. Sure, he didn't bring in money that day. Any of you who know a small business owner knows that there are days that are tough, that it is not easy, but you don't grow and you don't build a business by giving up when it gets tough. The people who keep going, it's the people who realize like this is worth it because I have a vision for my life. I know it's going to be hard, but I need to do what I can. 
Okay. So the next one that I want you to share is your physical goal. Coaching keeps us accountable. We know that. Like that is one of the biggest side effects of coaching is it keeps you accountable on your own fitness and wellness journey. What is your physical goal that you have with coaching? And for me, it's a being able to say that I've been active and fit for five years, which is like new, that's new. I'm 30. So that's like the last five years that's new in my life. I've never been active really. Um, but to say that I've worked out my entire pregnancy so far, I haven't missed a single day in any of my workout programs throughout my entire pregnancy and that I plan on, you know, regaining my strength and my power and getting healthy and happy and confident after baby. I don't care what post baby body. I don't give a shit if I have cellulite or I have stretch marks. That doesn't really bother me. I just want to feel good in the body that I have when I'm done. I want to create a cute little adorable chubby little human and then just feel good in an outfit when I go out on date night. That's what I want to feel good. That's my physical goal. Yeah, exactly. Like we all have goals. And I know, I know that you know this, that signing up to coach subliminally, subliminally, you are thinking, this is going to help me stay on track. I'm going to be in this community. I'm going to be in this environment and I'm not going to go anywhere. I'm here and I'm connected and I'm supported and I'm, I'm not going anywhere. Okay. These are amazing. I love all of these. Okay. Perfect. Um, and then the other thing is you need to know this. You need to share it. You need to talk about it often your why. Why'd you sign up to coach? Why are you here on this call listening to me and Hillary and Amanda? It was weird. I called you Amanda. It was weird. AMQ talk for an hour. Why did you do that? Why did you commit your night to us? Why are you here? Because if you don't know that, I need you to dig deeper. What is it that you want from this? Maybe you need to feel purposeful. Maybe you need to prove to yourself that you know you can move on from the trauma that you've recently experienced or that you can you're bigger than your fears you need to know your why and share it and i share mine often i always said when i began i literally had a boyfriend and we had a we didn't even have a cat when i started coaching i think we got ruby after we started coaching but i remember saying early on in my coaching career that i want to stay home with my babies one day I want to stay home with my future babies and bring in the money and be the breadwinner of my family. Now, if someone told you that you could do that in five years, would you commit to it? Or would you be like, ah, five years, that's a long time. I can't do that. If you were told that if you put in the effort for five years, that that would be your story, would you do it? Yeah, you probably would. Because truthfully, in those five years, you're staying active you're staying healthy, you're being motivated, supported, you're getting paid, you're still getting paid those five years. It's not a university where you have to like eat ramen and like fake cheese for five years while you get your degree. And then you maybe get paid once you dig yourself out of debt 10 years later. This is a different opportunity. So don't think that because you've been ingrained in your head to think that you need a university degree and you need you know, it's just normal to have student debt. It's just normal to live this life. And, you know, you're going to work your whole life. And then, you know, when you're 60, you're going to retire, maybe. And then you're going to go down to Phoenix for two weeks out of the year. Like, stop thinking that your life is so cookie cutter and that it has to be a certain way. If you have a vision for the way you want your life to be, grab it by the balls and go for it. Like, don't think that you have to go with the flow and just be the next salmon. You don't need to be like every other salmon in the river. Like, no, you're not going upstream. I'm going this way. I'm going this way, guys. I have no interest in that. So if you have a vision, I encourage you to grab it by the balls. I guess that's the quote of tonight. I want you to grab this opportunity by the balls and run with it because great things don't happen with people who are sheepish and standoffish and nervous and never dive in. Don't just get your toes wet, dive in, dive into this opportunity. Um, okay. I want you to think about your why. I would love for you to share it in the comment section, but more than that, I want to see you make a post tonight, tomorrow, sharing your why. And I would love it 
love it, love it, love it. If you could maybe tag Hillary and Matt AMQ and I in it so we can see it because this team is about supporting one another, lifting one another higher. If you have questions, we are here. If you have visions, we want to lift you higher so you reach them. Because you don't, we don't get like anything out of just signing people up and hoping that you figure it out. We host these trainings. We take time out of our evenings because we actually give a shit. We want you to succeed. We truly do. Because someone did that for us at one time. Okay. Now, I want to open up the floor to you guys. This is kind of a cool opportunity because this is such a small group. You guys can share, you know, if you have something you want to say, if you have a question that you want to ask any of us, now's your time. Feel free. Unmute yourself because I've muted all y'all. Unmute yourself and ask a question. Anyone? Really? You better not message me the moment we're done this call with a question. It's actually fine if you do, but I'd prefer if you asked it right now. Okay, I have a couple things that I wanted to touch on before we were done while you think about your questions or things you want to say. Um, with Success Club, there are some perks to it too. So obviously, like we talk about like the important things, like you get paid, Success Club helps you grow your business, but there's some like fun stuff along with it too. You actually get prizes. Like if you ever see us talking about free swag and free stuff that we get, it's because we helped three people each month. That's it. Like literally 90% of my workout clothes, well, that I used to wear are <laughs> from Beachbody and they're free or cutting boards or like umbrellas and beach towels and um, workout bags and you name it. Like they are so generous and so kind. I've never had an employer in my life. And I've worked for multimillionaire dentists who are like, I might get like a gift card to like an Applebee's once a year, but like I get spoiled by Beachbody. That's a perk of success club. The other thing about Success Club is that if you hit Success Club throughout the year consistently, you get a free vacation for you and a plus one. They send you to a tropical vacation, and I've had the pleasure of being eligible and earning one every year that I've been a coach just for hitting Success Club. Now, I know I want to change lives and I want to like make an impact, but free vacations, yo, kind of a good incentive to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Not gonna lie. So I've been to Mexico, to the Dominican. I've been on a Caribbean cruise, like phenomenal. I couldn't go this year because I am creating human life and I wasn't supposed to go to the Bahamas, but it is phenomenal. So every year, um, and you can even Google it, like if you, like Beachbody Success Club trip for more info and how to qualify for it. But yeah, phenomenal. Um, and the other thing I wanted to talk about, I'm like really off on a tangent here. We will end soon, um, is the national wake up call. I want you to make a commitment to yourself and to your business every Monday. Um, there is a national wake-up call that Beachbody hosts. It's a company-wide call. They get the best of the best in the industry in our, in our company to talk about a different tip topic every week. So you'll probably notice that we'll post about that national wake-up call in our downline pages, in the Success Clubbers page. You can listen to it on the Team Beachbody podcast app or go to the Team Beachbody 411 coach page on Facebook, which I've linked in this document that you can go to. Um, it's a great group to be in. All product updates, launches, um, and then the video recording of the National Wake Up Call. You will learn so much in those calls. Um, it's phenomenal. And then um, in this document, I've actually included links to additional resources because I know some of you are keeners and you want to learn more and you want to dive in. I've linked um, some of my favorite trainings and topics and resources for you guys in the last page of that call. But that is all we have for you guys today. Thank you so much. If you have questions, ask now. If not, congratulations. Your first new coach call is out of the way. You're like basically a seasoned veteran now because you've listened to someone ramble for an hour. It's phenomenal. And this is a good opportunity to take a picture and share on your social media that you are doing training tonight because it shows your followers that you are serious about your business growing as a business owner and that you're committed. So if you want to take a selfie, we should probably toss up some peace signs. Okay, let's do that. Let's all take a picture and share it on our stories. Perfect. It's like... Social media 101, you do something, you take a picture of it, right? Okay, take your boobies or whatever, your pictures, 
and smile. One, two, three, cheese. Okay, awesome. You guys have an awesome night. I hope this was helpful. Thumbs up. Was this helpful? Did this help you? Okay, I'm glad. I'm so glad. And um, did you guys all click on the link that I added in the chat for this document? Okay, if not, don't worry. I'll post it in the downline pages in Success Clubbers too, okay? Awesome. Have a good night, guys. Thank you so much. And thank you to Hillary and AMQ for being awesome leaders and helping out. You guys are phenomenal. See you guys later.